on this fine winter's day, I thought I'd finally have a look at this solar kit that I've got. This is specifically for this cabin. I wanted its own power source, mainly its lights and its heat. <laughs> Just so I don't have to worry about Hayden's setup, we can just be a go traveling, come back, and we always have power and light at this cabin. And it might change and adapt with time, but that's the basic need right now. So what came with this kit? This is called the starter kit. It's the most basic kit at Grid Free Store. And it came with this box, another box of one battery and one solar panel as well, which are both in the containers at the moment. But I thought I'd get this stuff out and, and look through the instruction manual and just see if I could figure it out on my own. What I'm kind of thinking right now is to simplify the system even more because the lights will be 12 volt and I'm pretty sure the diesel heater will be running on 12 volt too. So we don't need the inverter, we don't need to be able to plug in 240 volt appliances. So I could probably ignore this and the C63 section in here too. So it could be really simple. It could be the solar panel down to C15, one of these, into the solar charger controller, this thing here, to C32, another of these, and into the battery. And then we could wire everything to the battery, the lights and the heater. That's what I'm thinking right now. We'll find out. <laughs> I can always add the inverter later on. I think the most complicated part for me right now is trying to figure out which is which here. Alright, hang on a sec. <laughs> Someone just woke up. <laughs> Might have to stop filming for a little bit. <laughs> a simplification of the setup. It goes from the solar panel through the 6mm wiring, through the circuit breaker, 16mm wiring to the solar charge controller. And then from the solar charge controller, it goes through the 16mm wiring, through the circuit breaker, and to the deep cycle gel battery. Hayden just knocked together this cute little uh, cabin yesterday, all set for the cabin solar setup.
Would it go the other way around? So the rain doesn't get it. How are you gonna do the exhaust on that one? Don't know yet. Why doesn't this go over there? Yeah, gotta think about that. Good to have the battery probably on the other side because this exhaust from the diesel heater gets hot and it would have been in the way. Lovely mother in law is visiting from Australia. Oh. <laughs> hey, how are you going? Yeah, really? I know you'd love to know how to sit up. So having a look at the grid-free instruction manual, we realized that there should be two power wires <laughs> coming off the positive and the negative. And there are two wires because it helps with the direction of flow. Because one is the power going up and one is the power going down. And it is possible to join them together, but then, uh, but then the power is trying to go both ways. Thank you. 
from the battery to the 32. So that was from the battery, through a circuit breaker, through the wall, into the cabin where it will be attached to the control panel. <laughs> And then those wires were from the solar panel, comes in through the back, through the circuit breaker, and then into the cabin to the control panel as well. What's this one? This is the 12 volt. Ah, uh, this is the everything. All 12 volt? Yeah. This is a 12 volt, 12 volt from the controller. It doesn't actually, it just got the battery in that, but then there's, On the book, it's only got the solar panel in, and the uh, solar panel in, and the batteries out. Doesn't show that there's a, a load um, allowance, so I can bring 12 volt off that. This is the conception video. Hayden. <laughs> 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 